Hello all and welcome to Cloudy ML. Uh, in this video, we will go through what is the definition of machine learning and what is the different types of machine learning algorithms. So let's get started. So as you can see on my screen, Machine learning or ML is a type of artificial intelligence AI that allows software applications to become more accurate at predicting outcomes without being explicitly programmed to do so. This means that you don't have to write each and every program so that you can predict something. Machine learning is a part of artificial intelligence which actually learns by itself and actually predicts without you being without you programming at all now there are three types of machine learnings algorithms one is supervised machine learning what is a supervised machine learning it is also known as supervised machine learning is defined by its use of labeled data sets to train algorithm that to classify data or predict outcomes accurately. This means that you have a data set with a target variable. Like suppose you want to understand with a different types of features, will a customer churn or not? Or will, will customer leave the so leave some company or not so in that case you have various features like the accounts of the customer the gender of the customer and you get to train the data on those those features and uh, outcome and then you you can use that uh, particular trained machine learning algorithm to predict for a test result in which you have you will have no labels you will only have the features as input data is fed into the model it adjusts its weights until the model has been fit appropriately this occurs as a part of cross validation process to ensure that the model avoids overfitting or underfitting so in supervised machine learning we should be careful that a machine learning algorithm does not overfit or underfit. Overfitting means it is accurately taking each and every features and uh, learning it by heart without knowing the general trend. So if any extra or any other uh, feature will be given to them, to the machine learning, apart from whatever it has been trained into, it will be very difficult for machine learning to actually predict the outcome that is the overfitting and what is the underfitting underfitting means it is not learning anything at all like whatever input you are giving to the uh, giving to my uh, to the machine learning model it will actually not get the entire general trend it will it will not even predict the uh, proper train uh, set also so this is what is called overfitting and underfitting. So here you have the labels. Supervised machine learning models always will have a label. Label can, label can be a regression type or a classification type. A classification labels will be like 0, 1, 1, 2. Maybe 0 means a customer would not churn. 1 means customer would churn. It can also be a regression type. like suppose you want to predict the price of a car of a second hand car maybe so in that case the price is a continuous feature so that is that is why it will be a regression kind of label now second type of machine learning is unsupervised machine learning this unsup unsupervised machine learning actually is used for unlabeled data set this is basically used for clustering and knowing the actual patterns in the data. So these algorithms discover hidden patterns or data groupings without the need of human intervention. Its ability to discover similarities and differences in information makes it the ideal solution for exploratory data analysis, cross-selling strategies, customer segmentation, 
image and Im and pattern recognition so this unsupervised learning is used for actually customer segmentation suppose you have a customer uh, database so you can actually segment the customer high uh, buyer low buyer medium buyer or maybe uh, the customer who is most addicted to the new technology not very uh, okay for change all these kind of segmentation you can do you can you can recognize the image and pattern in a proper uh, image and pattern recognition you can actually use this for cross selling strategies so this is a unsupervised machine learning sorry there is then the third part or third branch of machine learning which is a reinforce reinforcement machine learning and that is a behavioral machine learning model that is similar to supervised learning but the algorithm isn't trained using the sample data this model learns as it goes by trial and error a sequence of successful outcomes will be reinforced to develop the best recommendation or policy for a given problem but however we will not go in depth in reinforcement reinforcement machine learning it is just for the understanding that it is just similar to a supervised machine learning but here you don't get uh, to train by the sample data you just train it by some rewards by trial and error and all this successful outcomes will be reinforced to develop the best recommendation i'll just i'll just advise you to know it from the definition purpose only we are going only to understand in depth about supervised and unsupervised machine learning so this is a classical machine learning when it is a task driven when you want to predict something task driven means when you want to predict something you can use supervised learning here you can use by either the classification or regression like classification can mean identify fraud detection it can also mean segregating your emails to a spam or non spam similarly regression it can it can be used for market forecasting price prediction uh, house rent prediction or every all the continuous features prediction you can use the regression in it then you have when you have the classical machine learning for data driven you have the unsupervised learning this is for unlabeled data you can use the clustering like targeted marketing if you want to do similarly you can go to association like customer recommendation like market and retail analysis you can use this then you have a dimensionality reduction which is the the example is big data visualization dimensionality reduction means when you have a lot of features like features more than 50 100 features in a data set you actually want to reduce the dimensional dimension of the data set so that you can actually get your machine learning algorithm to work faster so in that case you can also use the dimensionality reduction like pca and use this so this is what a classical machine learning algorithm is this is a overview of a machine learning so you have unsupervised learning which has a dimensional reduction like meaningful compression structured dis discovery you have the clustering you have various kind of clustering like uh, k means cust clustering agglomerative cust clustering here then you have supervised learning which says classification and regression class regression has like weather forecasting market forecasting estimating life expen expectancy population growth prediction then you have the diagnostic for classification image classification fraud detection customer retention the example which i gave about the churn so all these are classified as a classification algorithm and rest all the continuous feature prediction is regression type so these are the major machine learning algorithm for supervised learning and unsupervised learning which we will study one by one so you have a when you have a classification type algorithm it is support vector machines which is svm then you have naive bayes 
के नियरेस्ट नेबर्स न्यूरल नेटवर्क देन यू हैव रैंडम फॉरेस्ट डिसीजन ट्री लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन देर आर एन नंबर ऑफ अदर क्लासिफिकेशन अलगोरिदम एज वेल सिमिलरली वेन यू गो टू रिग्रेशन यू हैव लीनियर रिग्रेशन एस वी आर जी पी आर एन सोम्बल मैथड्स लाइक बैगिंग बूस्टिंग एक्सट्रीम ग्रेडियंट बूस्टिंग देन यू हैव डिसीजन ट्री न्यूरल नेटवर्क फॉर ऑल दिस when you go to unsupervised learning so we are generally we generally study about clustering here so you have k means clustering hierarchical clustering or agglomerative clustering then you have neural network and other types of clustering as well so we are going to study all this algorithm one by one but by now i hope you are clear with what is a supervised learning what is a unsupervised learning so that's it for this video guys if you if you like the content of this video please like the video subscribe our channel and share it with the others thank you